Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. I'm bringing to you guys today a great detangler and an extremely moisturizing dip conditioning treatment that can add to your regimen to prevent your hair from breaking, from falling out, and essentially to help you in your hair growth journey. So if you're interested, I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now to begin with, we are going to need some oats. So for this, I will be using five tablespoons of just regular oats. So oats are super great because they help to stimulate dormant hair follicles and promote hair growth. With regular use, you will notice that your hair will start to appear thicker, longer and also stronger. So after I added 5 tablespoons of oats, I'm now adding some hot water. I'm going to allow it to just sit around and infuse for just a little bit. In the meantime, I will be prepping my next ingredient which will be some flax seeds. So this I got from Amazon, I will link it down below guys if you're interested in getting it. But any flax seeds will be fine, you can use the brown one um, if you would like. Flax seeds are also really good for hair because it helps to grow your hair faster, longer by providing the nourishments that your hair follicles actually need. Um, so you can also add this to your regimen guys, sorry not to your regimen, you can add this to your diet as well to reap the amazing benefits that it provides such as vitamin e which is super amazing um, when it comes to like you know promoting a healthy scalp and also reducing free radical damage so after i added a few tablespoons of those i just went in with some uh, just cold water and i'm popping this on the stove you want to go ahead and boil it for a little while now notice that the it's boiling quite a lot now and you can see that it's kind of filling up the pot and then after some time it starts to thicken and the quantity of the water reduces as well just so you can see here so at that point guys you know this is ready because we are trying to get a gel out of this so you'll notice when the water becomes a bit more kind of like gooey or slimy in texture that is 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 due to be taken off the stove so go ahead and strain it straight away while it's still hot you can allow it to cool down if you want to guys but it might be a little bit harder to get all the gel out so i prefer to strain mine while it's still hot because the liquid is still quite um quite light and it just flows through the sieve quite easily so this is what it looks like when um i just sieved it so i'm gonna allow it to cool down and then i'm gonna prep my oats so this is what the oats look like after it's been sat around for about 30 minutes um, or until the water has completely cooled down. So we're going to go ahead and give it just a gentle blend. You don't want to blend it until it's smooth but you want to blend it um, as much as you can basically because we're trying to get um, oat milk. So after blending it guys go ahead and use your recap and we're going to go ahead and sieve it. So pour the mixture on there and just allow the liquid to drain. Now as you're getting to the bottom of the um, of the jar, then you will have more of the mushy oats. So just give it a gentle squeeze essentially to get um, most of it out. Okay guys so we're all done straining it and this is what it looks like you can go ahead and use this as a hair rinse if you would like it is super super moisturizing and it also helps to make your hair a lot more manageable because it makes it quite nice and smooth um, this is what the uh, flax seeds look like after it has cooled down so it's literally formed a gel and my gel is quite thick and that's how I wanted it because I wanted to mix it with the oat milk that we made earlier so just go ahead and you know put in a few tablespoons of the oat milk and stir until you get the desired consistency that you want if you obviously if you want it to be like really thick then don't add as much of the oat milk um, but because i was looking to use this as a, a detangler and also um, a pre-poo treatment i wanted something that was a little bit 
more runny in consistency um just so that is it's a bit easier for me to um, detangle my hair with um, but if you wanted to use it perhaps as a deep conditioning treatment um, you don't necessarily have to get it you know as runny as I did I'm going to show you what my final consistency um, is like so this is what I, then, I ended up with guys and this was just perfect for um, what I wanted it for you can see how it's really kind of like um, slimy texture and that is so great when it comes to like detangling your hair and um, also providing your hair with the moisture uh, that it needs essentially so I'm just transferring it here into this applicator bottle it just makes it easier for me um, to apply to my hair and then we're gonna go ahead and just use it I'll show you guys how I use it um, in the next slide so I'll suggest that you keep on watching now this is my hair guys um, I did have uh, braids on but braids that I did with my natural hair so I just took the braids out and um, it's time for me to basically just wash my hair because yeah my scalp is very very dirty and I've got quite a lot of build up right now um, so usually what I'll do before I shampoo is detangle and that just makes my wash day a lot easier and also my hair a lot more manageable and less likely to break sometimes if I'm really like in a rush I would you know um, just finger detangle and then you know go ahead and shampoo it but I find that properly detangling afterwards is a lot harder um, so I prefer to actually properly detangle beforehand just to make the rest of my wash day routine a lot easier so I'm working on a smaller section here I recommend you do the same guys some of you guys actually um, commented on some of my videos saying your hair is really tangled and you were asking for advice on how to manage that to be completely honest guys when it comes to tangos you have to take your time with it and working in sections definitely will help you a lot when it comes to um, minimizing breakage so if you can make you know part your hair into manageable sections and work that way and just be patient with it as you are working through the tangles and then using something like this could be really great because the thing with oats and flax seeds together is that it helps to melt your tangles guys honestly it melts the tangles so easy once you apply it to the hair and immediately the hair sucks it up and it's just it's just great honestly it's just so great and that can help you a lot when it comes to like dealing with those that tangled hair um that you may be going through right now but just like i said just be patient as you're working on it because you don't want to cause unnecessary friction and then eventually um breakage so after i apply that to my hair guys just like you saw i use a wide tooth comb to properly detangle my hair even after i did the finger detangling and that's just to make sure that i got rid of you know all the shed hair um that was basically like in my hair and essentially after i finished that i just twisted now moving on to the next section i'm going to repeat again until the rest of my hair is completely done it does take me quite some time to get through my hair guys um so i'm quite patient with it the thing with long hair as well it's it's nice but it's more work um and it requires a little bit more time to actually work through it so yeah that's all i'm gonna do guys and then i'm gonna put a, a, a plastic bag on my hair and just allow heat to penetrate the hair and i'm gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair and continue with my wash day routine now just like i said earlier you can use this as a deep conditioning treatment so you can apply to the hair um exactly the same way but you don't necessarily have to shampoo so you can leave it allow it to sit and then rinse it with just warm water and then carry on with your um, styling routine as you normally would uh, and I tell you this is so great honestly it's so moisturizing very moisturizing on the hair and it makes it, it made it handle my hair super easy so this brings me to the end of the video guys I hope you guys have enjoyed watching thank you so much for coming back if you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also 
please please subscribe to the channel to join the family if you enjoy my content and also leave a comment down below i will read and answer them as soon as i can and i'll catch you in my next one bye